Hi everyone, my name is Marius and today I will be recording a couple of videos which will be covering zero touch provisioning of the branch gateway using Mobility Master 8.0, right? And we're going to be using Activate to do that. In video one, we will be basically doing an adding of the branch gateway to Activate. There's a couple of settings I'll show you. In video two, I'll basically add the branch gateway to Mobility Master and VPNC and the settings that's required there. In video three, we will actually connect the branch gateway, zero touch provision. It will first writerize it and then connect it to the internet. And if steps one and two were done properly, it should then basically self-deploy. So I'll first quickly jump back into the whiteboard again. And as you can see, I'm just going to continue from video one and video two at what we've done before. We have now gone, just as a recap, we've configured on Activate, we've pointed this branch gateway based on its MAC address in a specific direction, which is this Mobility Master, right? Um, and also together with the actual VPNC. What's important about that is that uh, we then had to go to the Mobility Master 8, right? And the VPNC, these devices here. And we actually had to go and set it up to expect that MAC address when it arrives to be actually put into a specific place and set up in a specific way. So the idea was with the VPNC that we actually specified the certification that we're going to use, which was factory, as we said before, right? And we've also said that we're going to tie that to a MAC address. You saw that in the configuration. The next thing we needed to do was, of course, because now we'll have an IPsec tunnel that will build between the VPNC, hopefully if everything works well, and the branch gateway. After that, we want to pull down a specific configuration. As you saw, we had multiple folders we could use. And inside a specific folder, I went and added my device based on its MAC address. Uh, I gave it a name and MAC address in a specific folder. And that specific folder would then get a specific con configuration. The idea behind this is that once this VPNC is set up, I will then push the configuration down. It's important to note that this Mobility Master is not the data plane. All right, VPNC is the data plane, so data will flow through the VPNC to maybe data center. The Mobility Master is just there to control the configuration of the branch gateway or the managed devices. All right, so everything, if everything was uh, set up properly, what we're going to do now is we're literally going to connect the internet to the branch gateway. What do we expect to see? And you'll see this in a debug just now. I've uh, erased the entire configuration, is once I connect the branch gateway, in the last port, which is a 7005, which means in this case it's 003, I connect it to the WAN. What will happen is this device will connect to the WAN and request a DHCP IP address. So there will be a DHCP request. Then, of course, if everything is set up properly, there will be a DHCP response. And the response will basically contain an IP address. This is either private or public. If it's a private IP address, I also need some sort of netting on the device. Not my branch gateway, but the actual modem itself. That's going to be connecting to the internet. Right, there is no option 82 that we're looking at or 43 at the moment. So there is nothing in the DHCP that identifies this device and tries to push it to the Mobility Master. Because of that, you'll see it in the debug. It says there the DHCP did not send any information about these devices there. It then goes and fires a packet to activate. That's the next thing that happens. So as it fires a packet to activate, right, using its ABC MAC address, Remember, we tied that to a specific account and inside the account, we had tied it to a specific setup and folder. So that information there would then be pushed back to the branch gateway, which is great. Right now, the branch gateway would know how to connect to the VPNC because it's got enough information about the IP addressing structures that it could actually do that. It then goes and sets up, like I said before, it sets up an IPsec tunnel to the VPNC using this information at certification and once that is set up it will basically then push onto the mobility master because it knew the information about mobility master and request the configuration so mobility master will then go you once again use the mac address tie it to a specific folder and configuration and push the configuration down as a final step right as a final step it will push the configuration down 
to the 7005. And in that case, you then have a final configuration. Okay, so let's just quickly step over this to the CLI so I can show you what's happening there. And from a CLI point of view, what we're going to do is, let's look at the CLI. There it is. You actually have one of four options if you uh, buy a controller today, a 7K. It'll ship by default with version 8, iOS 8. And there's only four options you can set up. You've got a mini setup and a full setup. Enable and disable debug. Right, if you go into mini setup and full setup, that's not zero touch provisioning. The reality is that you should be able to do this without even connecting to the console port. But I want to show you what happens. That's why I'm connected to console port. Right, so from that point of view, what we'll do is, just to make it a bit easier for you to understand, I'll actually do an enable debug. Good. At this point, what we've got is we've got logging switched on. Right, as you can see there, enabled logging so that we can at least see what's going on as it basically happens. At the moment, it's not connected to anything. And as you can see on top there, uh, it says starting auto provisioning at the moment, but there is no auto provisioning set up at the moment. It's not connected to anything. The ports are all blank. So it says it's going to be using the last port, 003, for auto provisioning. Initiated DHCP, waiting for response. Nothing's happened yet. So what I wanted to focus on is when I connect the device, and as I connect it, uh, you'll see, start seeing some stuff happening on the screen, hopefully. Great, so everything is now set up at the moment. So if everything goes well, like I said, I'm going to connect the device. There we go. As you can see, it's in the last port. And if everything starts working well, what we should see is some sort of stream of data coming through just now. Okay, as it basically connects. And there, yep, there we go. Okay, so something has happened in the background. And what I'm going to do is switch back to the CLI again screen. So we just get rid of that one. And what I will do is you'll see it goes into a rebooting phase at the moment. Right, so for me to basically just, uh, um, how can I say, uh, zoom in a bit. I'm going to try and say basically from that point of view, I'm going to look at what's just happened here. Is a certificate basically was passed along. As you can see. Right, so some information basically flowed through this infrastructure. Right, there it is. That's what I want. Okay, so that's the DHCP information I got. Let me just highlight it for you. And effectively, if you look at this, once I had my D, uh, D, uh, sorry, IP address sorted out and my DNS server sorted out, um, it says the master info not received from DHCP, try and activate. So effectively, I didn't get anything from, that's the other way we could do zero test provisioning, is using a DHCP server and setting options 43 and 82 and so forth. Since I haven't got any of that set, it says, well, I'm going to try activate. <clears throat> so now it tries activate. There it actually goes to the activate account. And based on the activate account, it says I'm going to be sending some information to that activate account. Sending provisioning parameters. Right. So looking at this uh, parameter, uh, uh, um, parameters, for instance, it's like my MAC address. Now, on the other hand, if motion is sent across and what we will see, I'm just scrolling down a little bit. I re received a response. Um, you see, this is the certificate that I'm looking at at the moment. So looking at the certificate, I received the correct certificate. I do my certificate. Everything is good. So you can see this is a secure connectivity. Um, and then after all of this is said and done, it receives information. It receives information about the actual mobility master, as we said before. That's the IP address we set up before. Um, in the uh, activate, we see the MAC address that we've had before. Host name that I set. Remember, I set the country as NL. And I had some redundant master MAC address as well. There's my, uh, my VPN C. IP address that I'm connecting to, MAC address, redundant MAC address as well. Right, while well, this is now rebooting, um, I'm just going to jump back into um, my Activate just to show you what's basically happened. And if I do go back into Activate, I'll look at this 8910, which is my device, which I've just connected to the uh, internet, which it basically received this information. Let's just check the device history. And as you can see, it's basically received information um, 
and this is my time right now is 256 right it's basically received that information and it's basically communicated with this branch gateway so it's a nice way for you to go and actually have a quick look at this to see whether it's basically divisioned it oh, so, so provisioned it and now that is provisioned that's done we would then go to the dashboard and at some point in the dashboard itself it will basically appear as a connected device I'm just going to fast forward to that stage and once we are connected I will show you that it is actually on the network so as you can see every after a couple of minutes uh, if you go back into the actual mobility master we should have a working device and everything should be uploaded so if we go to controllers themselves and we manage from there good what we would see is a couple of minutes ago this device was basically uploaded which is mv um just to make sure it's easier to see it this way there it is that specific device there that's the one that we've updated <clears throat> and if i actually click on the device itself we can see a little bit of information about it all right and that's once again as you can see that's the 8910 that we've been working with so far Good, so like with all the other videos, um, if you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll go and like the video. Uh, if you have any comments about this series, please just uh, pop a couple of comments into the comment section. And please subscribe for future looking videos, right? We'll be bringing out a lot of videos around this going forward. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Bye-bye.